Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gamer City League Season 3. I'm going to be one of your casters today. My name is Steven, and with me uh, is my co-caster, Alex Kugler. How are you doing, Alex? I'm doing good. What game is this again? <laughs> this is Kelwa's Queens versus uh, Soy Gengars. Uh, no, no, it's uh... not Soy Gengars. Uh, this is, uh, Crispy Cantos. I like the, I like the full capital C-R-I-S-P for the, <laughs> Q, Q underscore Q. I just noticed it's a face. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. Mm. They are already in game, I'm hearing. They, they are in draft, though. Uh, they are in draft. What is it? How do we? Yes, they are. Spec. Uh, the link is in the chat. First two bands. We have Annie coming out on the side of Kelwa's Queens uh, to go with a Malzahar. While the response to that first band was a Leona band. Uh, it, very typical uh, targets of Josh going after Annie and Malzahar, and it looks like Crispy Cannons are trying to hit that bot lane power. Uh, Kelwa's Queens uh, boasts. Uh, what many consider to be the best bot lane at the tournament. Uh, I can't find the link. <laughs> Elijah, the link? scroll all the way down. Uh, Elijah, I'm all the way down. Uh, Elijah and Kelwa. Uh, is what, and this, this is a very quick, um, very quick champ select. Uh, Karma top locked, or well, just Karma. We don't know if it's top yet. Locked in for uh, Kelwa's Queens while. Seraphine and Trundle, very powerful pick. The Trundle absolutely destroyed um, Trash Pandas in the first game that the, uh, Crispy Canners played against them, leading it to be banned the entire rest of the series. Uh, Viego and Kennen finishing out the bans on both Kelwa's Queens and Crispy Canners, uh, respectively. 
And this is a very fast draft. Corky is also picked up, most likely going to the mid lane uh, for Larkin. Larkin, very familiar with this pick, Corky, uh, one of his favorites, uh, as he's not allowed to generally play ADCs in the mid lane. Usually need that for their AP power, but Corky uh, <laughs> treads that line, bless you, uh, between AD and uh, AP damage. Uh, and Thresh is also going to be matched up uh, with a ADC later going to Kelwa. Always very good on Thresh. Alex, why don't you, uh, how do you think this draft is going so far? It's gone really quickly. It looks like both teams very confident in their picks. I think this draft is going very well. You can't really ban out Larkin. He's always got something for every situation. And if you if you try to ban out one of his ADCs, he'll he'll find something else and he'll squash you with that. Larkin has been very dominant this season. <laughs> uh, excellent insight. Yes. Uh, no, I mean it's it's really good. Uh, I, I Larkin uh, always pulls out what I like to call an SOSB. Uh, some kind of scaling bullshit, uh, where oh, true. Uh, he literally won't be a champion until level 11, uh, but once he gets there, he can generally carry the game, unless he mispositions. <laughs> wow, uh, what's with the misfortune ban? Who plays misfortune? I guess I was counting some kind as one word. Would It would be S-K-O-S-B, which is really <laughs> awkward. Then uh, it's way more awkward than SOS. Scosp. Uh, <laughs> well, wait. Who who plays Misfortune though? We already have an ADC on. That. Uh, no, that's that, that's definitely going to be uh, a mid lane quirky. Um, oh. Yes, Larkin is mid lane. Uh, it's Elijah. Uh. <laughs> what? Whoa. That's yes. Wild. Uh, what happened? What happened to Largan's faithful Oriana? That's my goal. He swapped it for the Corky. He he wants, yeah. I guess, the poke uh, and the peel uh, that comes from the Corky. Uh, interesting though that he would go for a peel option when he has uh, the Karma and then uh, picking up the Thresh just one pick later. Uh, and, and it's going to be a Sejuani, very tanky front line coming out from the side of Kelwa's Queens. Uh, Very true. After the Samira, ooh, tell me about the Samira pick. What do you think? Uh, what do you think Arnett's going to do with this uh, in the bot lane? With I'm going I'm to keep it absolutely 100 with you. I did not pay too much attention when I watched the Samira champion spotlight. So I know very little about what she does, but she moves like an anime character, and it's pretty sick. Yeah, she kind of <laughs> just slides all over the place, and then once she's done sliding, uh, she blows everyone up. It's going to be Jin and then Malphite uh, on the side of Crispy Cano's and Jin. What do you think of Jin here? Pretty low damage composition coming out of Kelwa's queen, uh, Queens. Really going for a lot of burst. Uh, they have a little bit of poke mm -hmm. and a little bit of catch, uh, but generally low damage. Lots of CC and lots of peel. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I'm really liking the uh, I'm liking the quirky Jin uh, backline on QQ. That's that's gonna that's gonna probably tur turn some heads come team fight time. Mm -hmm. But Crispy Cantos also has incredible team fight of their own. Now, uh, the Samira I think is a very interesting pick, uh, especially because they had uh, Thresh uh, and Karma already. Uh, two champions that can really uh, dissuade the Samir from going in. Thresh with the flay and with the hook. Uh, and then Karma with just the amount of disengage shielding and then uh, the root that she can come out. And then the Sejuani, I think, is just the crown jewel that is really going to make uh, Crispy Kano's life difficult. Uh, so, looking at, uh, looking at these drafts, uh, very interesting from the side of Kelwa's que Queens. Uh, pretty low damage, but they also don't have a ton of tanks on the side of Crispy Canos. They have the big boy Malphite, who is going to be able to eat a lot of the damage, especially from Jin. Uh, and then half of the Corky's damage. 
And so I think the Malphite, very good last pick coming out of Crispy Canos. Good engage. Uh, Seraphine, Stu, always going to be a menace on this pick. Uh, and I think it's really interesting that we saw five 80 carry bands uh, combined from both teams uh, that really shaped these really frontline and uh, like peel and like front to back style team comps getting rid of uh, some really mobile hyper carries like Ezreal and Vayne and then some uh, really big lane bullies in the act from the misfortune and uh, um, I think we got a really good uh, really good really good game coming out it's, who do you, it's worth who do you think Alex who do you think one draft it's 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 worth mentioning here that Riot is soon going to disable all chat in mm. uh, League of Legends and Team Fight Tactics, and I think that's that's probably going to greatly Team hurt. Fight Tactics isn't Team Fight Tactics only all chat? Yes. <laughs> What's the uh, point? It, I I th I think I think that's going to greatly hurt Stubaka's performance because she is known for relentlessly harassing the other team, and it it, it inflicts. Uh, immeasurable psychological damage. Mm. Um, so I think she'll probably find herself a little impotent towards the uh, latter half of this tournament. Yes, uh, we're uh, working at Riot. Uh, this is very, um, ve very uh, interesting that we actually have a rioter here uh, <laughs> that can tell us just how many years of experience went into each and every play. Uh, <laughs> And so, <laughs> I, I, the the insight, uh, the all chat, I think that's really good. Have you actually seen and read the logs from Stu Baca, uh, showing yeah, yes. the all chat uh, <laughs> abuse? I, I it was actually my shift on the tribunal that day mm. that uh, that Stu Baca went particularly hard, and uh, unfortunately, we had to uh, impose a, a thirty day ban. But uh, because she's a woman, and we as rioters have uh, need to make sure that we're promoting equality among the sexes. Uh, mm -hmm. We title we, we, we we didn't we didn't go as hard as we could have on uh, on Subaka, but we we let her off with a warning. <laughs> oh, looks like Kel was queens, and and their supporters have uh, showed up to the stream. <laughs> Uh, we uh -huh. have tons and tons of points uh, being poured in on the side of Kelwiz Queens, over 20,000. Uh, so, uh, the predictions, I believe, are still live. Are, they, are predictions still live? All right. All right, predictions are live for another just under two minutes. So, if you need to get that Larkin body pillow, and I know that we're all gunning for it, uh, put your points in. Make sure that they are on the team that you think is going to win this three-game series. Late night, Sunday night, League of Legends. Very exciting match that we have. Uh, what, what are some of the win conditions, uh, Alex, that you see for each team? Obviously, we know the drawbacks. Uh, we have a little bit of low damage on the side of Kella's Queens, while uh, Stu's all-chat restriction uh, will certainly be a damper. Uh, on how she performs uh, in this game, I, I, I would say it's it's pretty pretty clear on the side of Quelwas Quel, 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 Quel Queens mm -hmm, that, you got that right. uh, 100%. that that if if Corky and Jin are taken out, then the damage is greatly reduced overall. You know, Karma Thresh and Sejuani can't really can't really carry a fight on their own their their entire job is going to be to peel but i will say uh i think the closest thing to an assassin that the other side has is samira and you know i i don't i don't expect that uh that Cr crispy cantos is the name of the other team that's right i don't i don't expect that crispy cantos will really have the you know the the mobility to get one of their guys behind the massive front line to actually take out some of the important players on the other side. Yes. Uh, and we have some really interesting interactions here. Uh, we have uh, Trundle and Sejuani in the jungle. Now, do you are you familiar with the interaction of Trundle's ult on Sejuani's passive? I am not. So 
Uh, Sejuani passive gives her uh, passive armor and MR when she's out of combat. And so, uh, Trundle, his ult, steals the stats, as we get in the game here, of the other uh, of the other player. And so, if Trundle ults a Sejuani with her passive up, he gets ridiculously tanky. Uh, Trundle is often seen as a counter to Sejuani for that reason, so I'm very interested to see uh, why Jake uh, in the jungle decided to go Sejuani. Uh, as he, they had the pick uh, of all the other jungle champs, and so interested to see how that went. Uh, I'm 26, 27, I, I, 28. I, I do, 29. I do, I do, I do want to point out here that. Everyone except for Jake, uh, Chocolate Four 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 has a skin. So I, I, I just wanted to take this moment to call uh, Chocolate Four Four Four, aka Jake DePaula, for being poor. Mm -hmm. um, I think that'll really hurt him, not just in this game but in life, because poverty generally tends to worsen the uh, the the welfare of of those impoverished. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I, I would tend to agree. But as a rider, don't you have don't you have the authority to gift him skins? For, uh... I I do. Unfortunately, I am paid in skins myself, so I am mm. one of the impoverished people. Um, and so I need every skin I can get, trying to sell it on the secondary market for food stamps. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, it's that California prices, despite yes. working remote. Uh, they, they just impose it everywhere. 135, 136, 137, 138. As we have bot side starts for both teams. All quiet on the Western Front. Mm -hmm. uh, who is going to have the prior early? Well, uh, Jin and Thresh are definitely going to have bot fire early. And Ben should have uh, prior early top as well as he takes a really b good trade uh, against Chris uh, on the Malphite. Uh, Jake so, uh, let's talk about some of these jungle paths uh, to start out. Uh, 224, 225, 226. Yes. Oh, Thresh hits level two first. That's going to be the hook. That's going to be the flash away oh. from the Ignite and the Jin W. Wait, I'm lagging too, I guess. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I, I'm all the way back up now. I'm at 243. <laughs> yeah, 245. 246. Oh. 244. Okay. Well, uh, spoilers for what's about to happen uh, in the bot lane. Um, all right, I'm at 246, 247, 55, <laughs> 301, 302, 303, 304. Yep, okay. Arda just got a double kill, yes. Yeah, 309, 310, 311, 312. Okay. Gank in the top lane after that great turnaround bot lane by the side of Crispy Cano's. <laughs> three twenty-five, three twenty-six, <laughs> three twenty-nine, three thirty, three thirty-one. Okay. Little bit of technical problems. Jake coming in for this a scuttle. Oh, smites a little bit early. Now it flashes after Arlen, but Arlen looks like he's. Gonna get out after the flash away. Oh man. Josh uh, comes over to help, but it's gonna get poked away by Larkin. As it's just a disengage. Flash for flash on the junglers. Looks and like the Cantoneers have have a a, a kill on <laughs> on the protagonist of our story, Larkin here. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I'd give him protagonist uh plot armor yet. <laughs> uh 
He 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 may be the protagonist. I wouldn't quite say he has plot armor, mm. as evidence. Yes. <laughs> As it, we are getting more fighting down in the uh, bot lane. Tries to win wall, but it looks like he's just going to get hooked back. Arnett is going to walk it out. Oh, an incredible uh, escape by Arnett as they turn around, kill Jake. And now the pillar is going to use the flash out by Larkin. <laughs> and it's going to be a kill for Ireland on the trundle. Great turnaround by Crispy Canos. Uh, as a huge wave is piling up uh, in the bot lane, and Arda is just going to get the feast on it. Okay. That works. Alrighty. Alright. Uh, tell us about what uh, Chris B. Cannons did right there. Alex, I didn't see it because I <laughs> because well, I was worried about the lag going on. In the okay, um, <laughs> I can now see it beautifully in stunning 4K through the Holden Gorns <laughs> <laughs> stream. Uh, gen generally speaking, I'm a little worried for Qu Quellos, Quiznos Queens. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Quiznos Questions? <laughs> I'm a little worried about our, our Qdoba quilts over here. But I'm out of Q words already. We're not doing this again. <laughs> I don't know if you caught the stream last week, but... We, we came up with about uh, three dozen different L names for Lily uh, in the last <laughs> series. Uh, um, well, anyway, so it looks like... It looks like things are, are not going so well for... for the, the, the team that I, I thought was projected to... To win, but I guess perhaps just because a team has relatively good team fight doesn't mean that they won't end up having a hard time in laning phase. So I guess as we see a possible. really good gank by Josh. Wow! Excellent rotation. Kelwa getting cut down. Too much poke. Too much damage. Josh needing the ult. Not really. As they they transition over to the drag. Great uh, rotation down by Josh. Getting out of the lane from Larkin. Uh, and picking up the dragon. Wow. And Crispy Cantos have more drag pressure than my parents do regarding me becoming a lawyer. Mm. Uh, that's quite that's quite a bit of pressure. <laughs> However, uh, we, we now have uh, Crispy Cantos, early 2k gold lead. It's only seven minutes into the game. Uh, how do you think that, uh, as, hold on, wait, we're gonna get a fight back here. No, it's just a little bit of trading going on. But, uh, how do you think they can really, uh, accelerate this gold lead that they have early? Uh, well, that's a good question. I would say they gotta, they gotta start thinking about later in the game. Uh, uh we have a gank I... mid. Larkin gonna Valkyrie in, gonna get some of the damage down, but can't quite get that last auto for the permafrost, uh, uh proc. And it's just going to be able nice walk out by Josh. Don't even get any sums. Good it, it just gank. it it just it just seems like the crispy cantos have the lock on on ganks in this game. Some mm. somehow somehow every every crispy canto gank that seems to happen, it it always pays off in one way or another. Yeah, it's very been very successful, uh, ganking lanes as I. I, I, I would probably chalk that up to good synergy among teammates. Mm, good skinnergy, would you say? Skin, skinnergy, almost. <laughs> mm. Oh, as it is going to be the unstoppable force. And wow. The, uh, and the chomp coming out Pro from Ireland in the jungle. Perfect. Proving, the, proving what we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. Those ganks are lethal. And it looks like we're getting a herald on this one. Yeah, something I want to point out on the side of Crispy Candles is that every single lane has incredible gank setup. 
We have the Malphite ult in the top lane. We have the Bind coming out in the mid lane. As another one lands onto Larkin. That's a lot of poke already with the lost chapter complete on the side of, of Crispy Cano's for Josh. Arlen looks like he is going to be able to get out without much, uh, without much fighting or too much damage uh, put out. But great gank setup for each lane Absolutely. on the side of Crispy Cano's. And Arlen really showing it as another root comes out and lands. Toa not uh -huh. able to return fire. I mean, we... Guoa had a, had a good hook attempt there, but unless it lands, it doesn't matter. Mm. CC don't matter if you can't land it. Uh, it's true, it's true. Uh, it looks like uh, just going to be a little bit of trading right now in bot lane. Oh, it is going to be the double root coming out. There's the old wow. Encore coming out from the Seraphine. Arden is in. He's slicing. He's dicing. He's wow. going to pop the ult. And it looks like Josh. Oh my goodness. The very oh tip goodness. of the ult gets and cuts down Elijah. No sums for Elijah in the bot lane. Two deaths for this bot lane of Kelwa's Queens. And it looks, and with the Rift Herald pop, they are going to get this tower easy peasy for first tower. Incredible, incredible Man. showing from the side of Kispy Kano's. And there's another gank. He's already used the Valkyrie. He's got ulted and subjugated from the trundle. He has to flash out. What an early game we're seeing from the side of uh, Crispy Canos. All, As a all solo the... kill happened top lane. All, uh, all, the, all the viewers at home took percent health damage from that Lux ult. And we know oh it. Oh my goodness. A dominant showing. Up 5k gold 11 minutes into the game. As another wow. life ball, poor life wow. can't even walk up to In the wave. Insult to injury at this point. Mm -hmm. Typing. Well, uh, I if 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 nothing else, this game can represent a spectacle where we get to see Larkin embarrassed and uh, and utterly emasculated. <laughs> oh, it is a rough a rough one for the side of Kelwa's Queens early on. <laughs> How do you think they get back into this game, Alex? Well, I think they, they're going to come back from this game the same way they, they would have uh, shown a, a lead early on. They, they're going to have to depend on their carries to actually put out some damage. The, you know, no matter what happens, Sejuani, Thresh, and Karma will have that utility. But, but those, those carries need to be on point if we're going to make any, uh, any headway. Yeah. And I think of really uh, something you should be really worried about on the side of uh, Kelwa's Queens is that you drafted this massive front line, but you see all the gold on the side of uh, Crispy Canos. They already have two dragons. They're going to be on pace for about a 22, 23 minute soul if they really rush the dragons. The, the Samira, three kills, three assists. You have the Lux, two kills, two assists. Even Arland on the Trundle has a lot of gold so far. As Kelwa, it looks like he's just going to get caught again. Has to flash away a little bit delayed on the ult there, but it's fine. Forcing the flash out of Kelwa. Uh, as now it's an invade to steal this red buff away. Crispy Canos are just trying to take away everything they can. But it's going to be a little bit of a counter on the side of... Um, of Kelwa's Queens is flashing in and getting the kill using the old the Inferno trigger. There's a second kill. There's a third kill, a triple kill for the Samira. And it's gonna be another one on the way. Like it, no flash is already wow. using the Valkyrie. And that one's gonna go over the Lux. They finally kill Arden. But it's just it's just gone from bad to worse. They get one kill back. They get one shutdown, and it does go on the like it crucially, crucially. He, does, he is the one that gets Samira shut down, but just cannot and will not stop dying and stop giving over more and more gold to the side of Crispy Ken. <laughs> uh, thank you, Asan. Always happy to be here. Um, uh, if if I were if I were on Quell's Kel, 
Cuddles Queens, I would not want to show my face in public again after this one. I don't know if I'd have a face. I think uh, <laughs> I think Crispy Canos is going to take my face too. I mean, why not? They've taken everything else. Uh, I... <laughs> is this what they mean when they say they're trying to save face? Like, oh. it's, 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 yeah, I mean, like they can't even do that net right now. They don't have they the gold. Can't. They don't have the ability. You know, if anything, it's art it now. Oh, that's gonna be the flash ult. Probably didn't even need it. As it art it, uh, it's gonna help uh, get some money onto Chris there. It turns oh. out that, that Samira is shaping up to be the delete button in this match. Uh, and unlike uh, Malphite, who has to, like, target her uh, his deletions, uh, Samira can just uh, E and uh, slide and... Uh, shoot guns right in your face. Uh, Very true. As uh, Stubaka, uh, who Leandri's torment on the uh, on the Seraphine. Oh, uh, really? Uh, just going for pure damage uh, and CDR on the side of the Seraphine. As Ben can't really do much. He's an 0 three. Also going Leandri's. Um, it, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's worth mentioning that right now I am actually inside Riot servers, uh, incessantly turning on and off colorblind mode for all of the participants in today's tournament. <laughs> I think that might be tampering. There might be an investigation coming your way, but you are a rioter, so it's bound, it's not bound to do anything, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. These are all jokes, by the way. Uh, Ryan? <laughs> Ryan, if you're listening, these, these are not jokes. <laughs> these are not jokes. I am, I have the Ryan, console. I'm very happy at my company, uh, but if I'm ever looking for a career change or uh, looking to change jobs in the uh, distant future, please do not disqualify me based on my comments. I love Riot as a company. They're a very good company. Anyway, back to the action. Uh, they're trying to take this Rift Herald. They can't do that. They, you know, they can't do that, right? They're not allowed to have nice things. Uh, yeah, they just don't have the gold. They're down over six thousand. Uh, it's true, and a team fight is 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 <laughs> starting to present itself here. Yeah, but it looks like it's going to be more of a slaughter. Kel already chunked to well over half. He's subjugated. But, uh, looks like, uh, Chris Buchanan is, oh, they, oh, they were cutting back until Ben decided to just walk <laughs> up and get rooted and get ulted. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it's gonna be the Rift Herald pop immediately in the mid lane, just trying to get, uh, this last outer turret down and then transition to, uh, the Soul Point Drake in just 10 seconds. Oh, no. It, wow. it is it is looking all but over this is this, this is, is one yeah. where if you're in solo queue you you're <laughs> you're you're either surrendered already or you're yelling at the one guy who thinks it's winnable go uh, next go next see what you can do for game two uh, <laughs> third dragon picked up to the side of crispy canos uh, and you got to applaud their game plan, right? Obviously, they had to have known what Kelwa's Queens was going to pull out here. Uh, and they really executed on it. Ben uh, has played a lot of Karma before. Uh, they liked the Malphite into it, obviously, and they had some jungle pressure up here. Uh, I, I think Arland has had an incredible game, uh, only to be outdone by his twin, uh, Ardit on the Samira, who's had a really uh, couple of incredible plays uh, on Absolutely. the Samira. Uh, as Arlen looks like he's going to add to his repertoire of disgusting plays uh, in this game. Ardit getting a little low. He's going to gale for us in. But uh, Elijah is going to look too far. There's the turnaround, but there's the package coming in. There's a shutdown. Another shutdown. Single one this game. And another shutdown going over to uh, Sejuani. What's going on? Well, that that was a small step in the right direction for Team Quell was quite Queen Quins. Mm -hmm. 
That was Quince. <laughs> oh wait, no, they got rid of Quince. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, I, tell me, is Riot thinking about being Quince back? Because I think uh, could, could use maybe uh, that 15 second um, or what, what was it? Like five second death timer redu reduction? Oh, percentage? Five percent uh, death timers. Oh, that'd be really uh, useful for uh, Kelwa's Queens here. See if they can uh, see see if they maybe get get back on the map quicker. Um, but uh, it's still a uh, a four nearly five k deficit for the side of Kelwa's Queens. Lots and lots of gold though going on the Larkin, who now sports a gold lead over Josh, despite having two less kills. It's that farm that Larkin does so well, uh, as well as those two huge shutdowns on Arted. Impressively, though, uh, the uh, the side of, of Crispy Cantos uh, has no negative ratios among any of their teammates. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we know that uh, definitely some of these players would be getting ratioed. Uh, it's very true. Mm hmm Yeah. Kel was Queens. Trying to hang on in this game. Uh, but they, uh... It, this, is, this is a famous play for, uh, play for Elder game, don't you think? We have the, uh, soul for, uh, Kel was Queens. Not for Kel was Queens. For Crispy Cano's coming up in just under two minutes. And... The Crispy Canos, they're stealing jungle camps. They're doing exactly what they should do. They're moving the vision up. Uh, what what do you think of the vision right now on the side of Crispy Canos versus Cowboys Queens? Well, uh, as we know, when a team starts to win, the line of vision should be moving up, and we see some pinks and stealth wards placed uh, in precisely that way. Uh, mm -hmm. Crispy Canos is starting to move that that vision closer and closer into the uh, the Quelwa's Queen's jungle. Yes, hold on, we have a fight here. That's the ult for the Unstoppable Fist in the Mouth fight. Flash out from the Tidwani. However, I don't think there's any flashing away uh, from uh, Ardit and the Unstoppable uh, the Mirror Machine. Whew. Another guild picked up uh, as Hook's gonna land, but shouldn't have anything. Kelwa is alone. Do they know he's alone? They should. They have enough vision. As uh, Arland uh, certainly going to try and capitalize. Jin W coming through as he's going to open up the curtain call. First shot coming through. Second shot. Third shot. And one last shot. Nothing doing. Good try and attempt on the bait by Kelwa's Queens. However, they just could not get enough damage down. Uh, and it looks like with 30 seconds to go... Chris Buchanos is going to go clear out this vision. Yep, things continue to look dire for Quiznos Queens, but, you know, sometimes you have a game where every lane gets a little too controlled. Uh-oh, but a, a team fight is brewing. Uh, it is. Larkin going in, but uh, it's going to be the Inferno trigger coming out from Arden. But Arden, has he maybe stepped far? One, two, one mind too many. Yes, he will. Je uh, Jake is going to bring that as the Seraphine old Encore comes through. But they're split. Kelwa is going to be the first one to die. Oh, but he flashes in. And it's going to be another huge kill uh, for uh, the Jin. But uh, it's a three to two team fight win on the side of Kelwa's Queens. How are they winning these fights? It's it's impressive, and I mean specifically ushering the uh, the crispy Cantos players off of that dragon was extremely impressive, and, and they're just outright taking it now. This is the beginning of of a necessary. Mm -hmm. However, Josh and Stu uh, is wow. not going to get much done. In fact, a uh, little bit of a poppage right there uh, on the side of Kelwa's Queens. Stu kind of and... walking in, no. No business being there. And it's the dragon stall from the side of Kelwa's Queens. 
they brought this back to just a 4k deficit which of course still pretty big right yes uh as art it looking to uh perhaps uh <laughs> catch an unsuspecting elijah is gonna pick that up nice and easy give over a free one and they had really avoided doing that this whole game haven't they 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 had been really sticking to the game plan game plan outside of uh that initial ballooning of the lead they stuck mm -hmm. to their to their game plan of of scale try to just stall out the game get what farm you can uh and pick uneven fights uh and well, so pretty careless we, we... of elijah to get caught there as we, uh Oh man. Oh hold on. Uh speaking of getting caught, it's gonna be the flash old and it's not gonna be enough. It's gonna need to flash out, but uh probably could have slaved that flash for a rainy day. Larkin's just gonna fall. Great pick by the side of Crispy Canos, and that should lead to the Baron. C Crispy Canos uh seem to have, have shifted their, their trajectory a little bit here. Looking for picks, staying in a group, staying away from those team fights is probably what they learned from these last last few fights. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the root coming out from Josh, and it's gonna be a woo whiff on the old from Stu. They don't stay on the Baron; they pull off. So they get the pick on the Lycan, very important, but they can't do it as uh, Jake goes in on this Sidswani. Uh, and he's gonna die, flashed away from Ardit. Uh, Curtain Call gets nothing. Uh, and that could be right back to the Baron to the side of Crispy Kenos. They're gonna have the Seraphine to heal them up. Uh, plenty of lifesteal, uh, for Ardit anyway. And yeah, they are just gonna give this, it looks like. Baron at about 6k HP. Josh trying to zone them off. Huge chunk out of Elijah there. Oh, and a really another big chunk with the ult. They're trying to contest this. It's going to be Ooh, a win. But Josh goes down. Uh, they, Baron is taken. And it looks like they are just going to try to keep going on this fight. Cowboy is going to have to flash out. Ben, no such luxury. And they do secure the Baron. They get three kills in, uh, well, two kills there uh, in the process. Could be looking for one more. Arland is here. But it looks like he's just going to back out. Oh, Forcing another flash on the side of Kelwa's Queens. And they're going to push for this inhibitor turret. Good fight uh, by the side of Crispy Canos. Uh, securing that Baron. Uh, they're going to get this inhib right here. I don't think they can end the game right here. That's pretty bold. Especially because they have not spent after getting that Baron. Dragging up in a minute 30. Looks like they're just going to try to back off, steal some jungle camps, reset, and then end this game uh, with it, that soul. It's, pre it's pretty pretty wise, I think. A lot of games have been lost by overextending a lead. Mm -hmm. hooks I mean, never. Wide. They're just fishing for hooks right now, for uh, hooks, for picks. They're chasing them in into their own jungle. Uh, they're going to sweep away some of these control wards that because we can't always just put down. Uh, but they are already pushing on the top side. Uh, ben is dead uh, for the seventh time this game. Uh, they're going to lose this. Nobody's back. Nobody's back. They can keep pushing this. Larkin is the only one back in the base. Everybody else is. The, the cl other closest person is the Sejuani, and she's just getting into the base now. Wow. It's going to be another inhib, or at least it should, for the side of Crispy Kenos, and it's a complete blunder on the side of Kelwood's Queens. Really, really chasing for Chris and uh, Ardit on uh, the Samira, uh, on the Malphite and the Samira, respectively, going too far and getting just overextending when uh, they had a whole base to defend. Two inhibs down. This is soul point. They're just going to start it up. Larkin and the team is here, but there is one TP on the side of Crispy Canos, and it will be secured oh. by Harland. Not even going to be a fight. They're just going to they're just going to cut it out. Uh, supers about to come into the base. 
And really, the Baron times out. Really good Baron uh, from the side of Crispy Canos. Used it well. They got two in Hibs in both top and mid. And they're going to just be able to solo push on this bot side. Uh, yes. Uh, that Baron power play, as always, brought to you by Blue Corn Tortillas for the Blue Corn <laughs> power play. Blue Corn Tortilla chips. Crispy. Uh, crunchy. Blue. <laughs> and as we expected... Uh, Blue, corn tortillas. For, Blue, corn uh, Blue Corn Tortillas, eat them plain. Do not dip them in anything. Nothing? <laughs> not they even will... salsa? Or Never. Never. <laughs> because because Larkin would never do that. <laughs> he would always eat those crispy blue tortilla chips plain, as they're meant to be eaten. Yes, as Arlen, eating one crunchy karma, uh, goes down without much struggle. Ben, having a rough game on the karma, it happens. Uh, Want to see if maybe he can uh, pull out a different pick. Uh, as the third inhib falls on the side of Kelwood's Queens. Oh, this one looks all but over. 10k gold deficit at 30 minutes into the game. They are just pushing in the waves. They're poking them out. Uh, Larkin has the package. Looks like they're going to try it for one last ditch effort. Rube comes out. Kelwa goes in. Huge five man play. But Arden is already killed. Uh, wow. Kelwa, and it looks like Lycan is, uh, oh, wait, a triple kill for the Samira on the backside, but Samira does fall. Samira does fall. It is two on two right now for the next, oh, I don't know, uh, 15, 20 seconds. Wow. Well, as it's... everyone, as everyone begins to reset, we, you know, the, the smog is cleared. We can now see that, uh, that the side of Quo's Queens is left only with the Nexus. Uh, not an enviable spot to be in. No. And they do have a, uh, quite a bit of wave clear in the Corky on the side of Quo's Queens, but that is it. Nobody nobody else on that team can clear waves. Uh, Jin is not very good at wave clear as an AD carry. Uh, Karma can usually wave clear like, early, but in this late game, uh, Karma's damage is not as good as, especially when you're only on one and a half items 31 minutes into the game. It's been a rough one for the top lane. Chris, having a really good uh, uh, game on the Malphite. Getting some really nice engages, some good picks. I have a pimple growing in the inside of my nose. Mm. Yeah. And well, it can I, is really can you do a play by play on that one as uh, <laughs> just be, uh Kanos takes his ban well, uncontested. Well we we can start to see that the pus is oozing <laughs> inside inside the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, eight, seven. <laughs> <laughs> the, the uh, the active infection zone is beginning to throb a little bit. Okay, all right. <laughs> this should be the final push. <laughs> hey, the infinite has respawned. Curtain call's going to come out. Probably just better to just use it to clear the wave. Uh, but he goes for poke damage on the Malphite, who doesn't take any. Uh... <laughs> Look, they're, they're poking him down. Hook's not going to land. And the only, looks like the only death sentence that's coming out is Cowboys Queens in this first game. There's nothing but the Shepherd in the Super uh, the super Minions. Baron up Super Minions. Double coming in now with a Baron buff. He, I, even if Crispy Canos don't hit the Nexus, the Minions should just finish it off on their own. As the situation is incredibly dire, Encore comes out. Kawa is going to fall. However, Stu falls as well. Uh, but that's going to be the old on to the Corky. That's going to be a stopwatch. Ardit coming in. Ardit swooping around. Ardit taking the Nexus. Triple kill for Arlen. 
tied it also with a great game on the Samira. Game one, Chris Picano. Wow. wow. What a game. What a domination. What a what a start to this set. Oh, yes. A commanding start from mm. Chris Picano. A, a start that'll make you say, maybe I will be in bed by 12. <laughs> that is so true. It's not true at all. I will be up all night eating yet more queso, ensuring oh. that the pimple growing on the inside of my nose. <laughs> and thank you for watching game one of Cowboys Queens versus Kiss Picanos. We're going to take a short break while we wait for the next game to start. Don't go anywhere. Game two coming up just after the break. So as I was saying, the pus is absolutely populating. Everybody, <laughs> obviously, picking up right where we left off. <laughs> All right, please unmute Alex. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, it's worth mentioning that this broadcast is brought to you by Legends of Runeterra. Mm. Uh, please play this game. No one has ever downloaded it before. <laughs> it's new? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a new game. It's been out for a long time, but, um, you know, we designers worked pretty hard on it, uh, and it's really sad that it is going out to an audience of no one. Uh, so it would be great if you could, uh, give it a try, give it a shot, you know, the, I, the I, CC, oh yeah, <laughs> yes. No, I was going to say, I play it, I like it, I've been playing less of it Wow. I'm employed, but, uh. I see. Yeah, whenever so, I'm watching YouTube, it's nice to play on, like, my one screen, and then have it on my other screen, uh. So, so you're saying that ever since you started doing something meaningful with your life, you stopped playing Legends of Runeterra as free. I feel like you're twisting the truth here, <laughs> but I think you've got the core concepts down. <laughs> no, no, I do like Legends of Runeterra. Uh, I, I, I actually, I almost, I almost got a seven-game expedition with a Poro deck, like a pure wow. Poro deck. Uh, I was there very proud. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. It's that is impressive stuff. That is impressive stuff. Yeah. If if only they had Poros in League of Legends. Unfortunately, uh, we're not playing that mode. We uh, are not playing that mode. It's true. Yes. And unless somebody picks Braum in the upcoming game, uh, there will be no references to it either. It's it's true. I mean, they. Oh uh, no! You're right. You're right. But uh, I don't. Does think... she ride a Poro? Yes, she does. What? Yeah. I need I need to see this. That's Poro. an old sk that that skin what? is like. Hmm? Wait! 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 wait. Oh, oh, uh, oh Provider oh. Sejuani right. uh, is the other reference to Poros that we might see. Uh, oh, I don't, I, that, that skin's that's like six or seven years old already. Is it really? Well, it's a yeah. cool skin. It holds uh, up. 2017. Uh, so it's actually much newer than I thought. Um, oh, wait. Or is the, no. No, no. That's when they did the rework. Um... Yeah, 2014. So that skin is uh, older than most uh, bronze League of Legends players. Uh, so, as we um, are almost ready for the draft, what do you want to see out of uh, Killer's Queens to bounce back from uh, that really just brutal game one where they got outclassed? Uh, well, I, I think, you know, obviously I'm not a, I'm not a seasoned league player. Oh, uh, where is it? I don't know which channel it is. In. It's you know, it's in the 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 league chat. Oh, it's in the league chat. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. As Alex learns how to read. Uh, As I learn how to read. <laughs> uh, we are into draft. Uh, any ban again from the side of Kelwood's Queens, while Aphelios and Leona are taken off the board for Crispy Canos. I'm, I'm it's generally... The Diego ban uh, for Kelwood's Queens. Uh, noticeably no Malzahar as Crispy Canos runs back for the same three bans. I'm generally hoping that Kelwood's Queens picks picks a couple people with some more mobility. You know, we, we didn't see too much mobility coming from that side of the field and Samira was absolutely denominating. Hmm. Definitely denominational uh, in that performance. Uh, Trundle Band coming in. It's going to be the Seraphine first pick for the side of Crispy Canos. Very interesting draft strategy. They leave up the Malzahar, uh, but Crispy Canos don't go for it knowing that um that uh, Larkin will be very reluctant to pick that. It's going to be Karma Misfortune. Do you think we, we see this Karma top again, or do you think Kel was on it? Uh, that's a that's a good question. Uh, it's it's difficult difficult to say from here. Um, but I I will say that uh, that Kel was Kel was Queens is running back the Karma, which is. A bit of a a bit of an interesting interesting pick. I guess they didn't think the karma was the the weak weak spot of their last game. Mm. I, I am also curious why you would do. And there's a malfighting response. Ezreal also going to be the response into the misfortune. Do you think? Who do you think wins this matchup? Because uh, both are, li are lane bullies. Uh, mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of poke coming out from the side of Crispy Canos because they also have Seraphine. I wonder what uh, Kelwa's Queens and Kelwa himself is going to pick to match up with this more f misfortune. Is Corky going to pick, uh, be picked up? It's starting to look kind of like a salty run back on the side of Kelwa's Queens. Ooh, that is that is certainly what we're starting to see here. And I mean, you know, just a lot of these picks in general are looking looking very similar. I'm getting some deja vu from this Seraphine and the Malphite, and of course the Corky and the Karma back from the Boots. Mm -hmm. As we see a Malzahar, very familiar jo uh, Josh pick, one of his signature picks, I would even go to say, uh, taken off the board. While a Zillion ban taken away from who I must presume is Kelwa. Uh, 
there are like 700 champions and all these guys are choosing the same three fucking people. Well, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you can talk about pus all you want, but no F-bombs. Come on. Oh, wait. Are, are, are we not supposed to curse? No, no, no. That was, that was more for jokes. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Well, Say then maybe I'll... <laughs> How you maybe graphically I'll, maybe, described your nose ailments while maybe I'll maybe I'll just go back to the pus then. Um, <laughs> drive in and blitzcrank the final bands. Blitzcrank, uh interesting band, uh, for the side of Crispy Gano's. Yeah, it's looking kinda like a salty run book. It is definitely looking that way. I mean and the thresh is open. If they did want to go that way, as Josh looking to pick up the locks again, the only thing that's changed is the AD carries. Oh, uh, but, but yeah, here's we have the another Amumu, change. Yeah. The Amumu going to be picked up for the side of Chris Vicanos, and that's going to be Arlen going on the Amumu. Uh, we've seen a lot of Amumu support in this tournament. Uh, not a ton of Amumu jungle. Uh, what do you think of this matchup in the Sejuani? Um, I'll say that, uh, that the, the Sejuani pick last time was, generally speaking, it, it should have been pretty high impact, but unfortunately because Hello's Queens got sort of stomped on, uh, we didn't get, get to see too much of that, that beautiful Freljord team fight. And it looks like we're going to get that in addition to some extra Freljord support here from Braum. Uh, and both of them are known for having some, some very, very controlling, um, controlling abilities. Hmm. Proud controlling abilities, you might say, but more than one might almost say, almost say that, but not quite. They would say controlling abilities, but they would not say proud <laughs> controlling abilities. They would almost would... say. <laughs> they would almost. <laughs> that that would be a little too on the nose of them to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, uh, we get a 100% potential Poro representation here. Uh, that is very true. Mm -hmm. That is very true. It's, yeah, we are we are now full circle here with Sejuani and Brom both potentially showing us a little bit of Poro action. Mm. I do want to say I really don't. Get, uh, I'm not a big fan of this Brom pick, and I'll tell you why. Brom, th there's. There's not a ton of projectiles you want to be blocking on the side of Crispy Canos. What you have, you're gonna poke, you're, you're gonna get rid of like Ezreal uh, cues every like uh, five, six seconds when the shield is up. You'll, you'll be able to block Seraphino, which I think is the primary reason for picking the Braum. Uh, but I mean, you can't block Luxal with Braum shield. Uh, the disengage uh, with the Braum ultimate, I think, uh, will be a little bit good, but mm, I don't know. Uh, what, what do you think of this Braum pick? Well, I mean, you said that you're not a fan of the Braum pick, and all I really have to say is that I'm not a fan of the searing pain inside of my navel cavity, but I think at the end of the day, sometimes you got to accept things as fact and be optimistic. So what you're saying is that Kel was Queens picking Braum actually made your nose uh, inflammatory? Yes. It, mm. Yes, the inf inflammation was angered by the Braum pick. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. My, nasal, my nasal cavity is, is absolutely burning up. Yeah. How many years of experience do you actually need uh, in game design to cause uh, nasal infections uh, from people uh, not even playing? <laughs> <laughs> uh well i will say generally speaking you sort of don't want to cause pain among your players as a game designer um but i would say that if you were that bad at game design that you actually caused infection with your designs uh you probably would need something of about 400 plus <laughs> you might actually need 400 plus years perhaps of game design experience at the risk of having you do a solo cast <laughs> and also being an accessory to murder uh, 
Wait, so we, if we had put that in the chat, we would have gotten... <laughs> That's so... <sighs> okay. <laughs> On a more serious note, what do you think of these drafts? Piss Picanos, obviously just trying to keep the same thing going from at the last game. Trying to get that early game and those big and those good lanes. Yes, uh, absolutely. pushed. Uh, well, and Kawa's queens trying to respond. Picked up the misfortune. Misfortune, very powerful pick. Uh, but absolutely. they went back to uh, three picks that they thought they must have worked was not the issue last game. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think is going to happen this game? Well, on the side of Crispy Cantos, I'm starting to see a bit of a uh, an interesting uh, wombo dombo combo amongst Malphite and Amumu, who are known for having alts that, if they are if they place themselves and position themselves well within the team fight, uh, they can absolutely prevent any possible aggression, any possible playmaking from the other side. So I expect that what um, what Kellos Queens is going to want to do is look out for those moments where they're clumped together and really, you know, think critically about their positioning because any wrong move could be game-ending. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. I also think it's interesting how Kellos Queens is leading, is leaving their primary engaged, the Sejuani, to the newest player, Jake, in the jungle. Now, Sejuani, not that difficult to initiate on, doesn't need to find any uh, interesting flanks, uh, doesn't really need to think all that hard when they go in. They will be very tanky, but interesting how they really don't have any engage outside of that Sejuani ultimate. And so... Yes, absolutely. That is That is true. Um, although the, there, there is, uh, there is the potential Brahm ultimate, which is, you know, not a, not a, an amazing engage, but it, it does, it does some things. It's, it's particularly good at, at picking a couple people out. Um, but I, I think you're right in, in terms of like the big team fight, mm. uh, team fight starter, you really only have Sejuani for that. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Crispy Cano's though also doing something similar. Uh, as we, uh, we we're just going to tune into the the Discord stream, I assume. Yes, that's. I do see yeah. it. Yes. And again, uh, again, again, we can uh, we can single out Chocolate Four 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 Jake DePala again, uh, brandishing his poverty like uh, like a weapon against his opponents. Yes. Well, it was a little <laughs> blunt uh, last game, but hopefully he sharpened his poverty and he's ready to wield it. Yes, absolutely. Do we get <laughs> into game number two of Kawa's Queens versus Crispy Canos? We're out on the rift. Late Sunday night. <laughs> as, Late Sunday night. Yeah, as uh, Crispy Canos looks to hopefully finish this off with a uh, quick 2-0. Well, you know, I, I for one, I believe in Kelwa's Queens. I think they can put up a good fight. You know, it might be the case in my belly talking, but I'm feeling a little optimistic. Mm. Well... Uh, you should you should feel that way. I believe every single series has gone to three games this season. Isn't that right? Wow. And so, wow. Crispy Cano is trying to <laughs> Crispy Cano is trying to take us to our first early bedtime of the season. <laughs> uh, looks like to maybe be a delayed invade, but it's going to be spotted by Ardent. Uh, and we get a la an extra a, special lag on the stream there for the, mm -hmm. for the boys and girls. Some lag of Oni. Uh, going to be a topside start for Jake on the Sejuani. But of course, they uh, Kano should know that. 
uh, as the bot lane of Kelwa's Queens was uh, there to uh, almost cheese early. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, what, what what are some of these lanes looking like early? Who do you, who do you expect to have the prior when these scuttle crabs come up uh, in just um, over a minute? Well, if last game is any indication, I expect that Malphite will uh, will probably have the lead in top lane. Uh, but of course, you know we don't we don't want to hedge our bets too too early, but. Of course, we have some we have some data points on this exact top lane, uh, played out by these exact same teams. So, uh, but I will say that the uh, the bottom lane is looking uh, a little less explosive than it than it was last time. Uh, so, hopefully, we'll see uh, so, some more some more parity among the uh, among the teams. Going into the mid game. Yes. Uh, interesting uh, that, just like you said, the Malphite had the push uh, last game. However, it's going to be a little bit of heavy trading. Stu taking uh, the brunt of that trade. Uh, Karma does have that push and will be able to rotate over to the Scuttle Crab uh, if they want to contest this. Mid lane is a little bit even. <laughs> <laughs> this is some sexy lagaroni. Mm -hmm. Coming out from Rabagia Raff. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Rabagia Raff. <laughs> uh, traditional Italian name, of course. Of course. Uh, Giraffe. <laughs> Rabida Giraffe. Uh, Giraffe. <laughs> the fa famous Italian streamer Rabid. Rabid Giraffe. <laughs> It does sound Italian. <laughs> That's really good. It's pretty. It's pretty funny. Uh, it is pretty funny. <laughs> but Ireland, uh, well, it is going to path bot find this scuttle has been taken and that Jake has taken it. Uh, is it going to queue in? Uh, no, he didn't. Why did I say that he queued in? He didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Bandit Tross is obviously still uh, up and able to be used both junglers sticking around this mid lane uh jake's gonna go first it's gonna be the bind coming out from josh and it's gonna be the bandit toss number one bandit toss number two goes wide however and it looks like it will just be a disengage from the side of Kelwa's queen nice oh boy. try to set up and they will get the flash out of jake on the sejuani but no kill crucially and they can't get that snowball started early. But and as as we had as we had sort of hoped, uh, and as I had sort of predicted, uh, it it seems like we we actually have some some equity among the gold and uh, kill counts going on right now. Mm -hmm. It's generally been a pretty inactive game thus far, so we're gonna have to see what the. Uh, what, what the deciding factors of this game are going to end up being. Definitely. Very even gold so far. Even uh, even farm counts across the board. Very, very small leads. This might be one of the most even early games we've seen so far at this tournament. So, uh, usually by now we at least have one kill. But we have one lane that's gotten enough jungle pressure that has uh, really taken the farm down. Uh, um, or gotten you know, a farm lead. We, we we we've been sort of we've been sort of making making uh, making light of uh, of Larkin's performance throughout these past couple games, but we should keep in mind that that this performance from Larkin is actually very impressive, considering that he's also doing a solo queue game on the side uh, with his Smurf account modesty uh, at the same time. Uh, so oh, wow. the fact that he's playing two games at once, uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really know how he does it without four arms. Uh, mm -hmm. I assume he's using some. Well, sort we of... know he's got three arms at least, right? At, so... like, at least I expect some. Oh. Some foot action is up. <laughs> the game is paused. I think Larkin's solo queue game is actually heating up, so I think he's using his timeout now. <laughs> yes. Uh... <laughs> 
but I believe that uh, uh, it's we we have Stu Net uh, issues uh, <laughs> as we usually do, but I think we're back. Uh, oh. So very brief pause. Uh, by the way, you did make me check to see if Modesties was actually playing a game. <laughs> uh, may, I don't know if he had left the account to somebody else or not. He um, did not. No. <laughs> As, uh, well, uh, the players might have unpaused, but the stream is <laughs> the very stream clearly is. Uh, frozen in time. Now uh, we might have Re expected this with two failure champions. Rabid Giraffe probably needs to get some better internet if he wants to make it as a full-time streamer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yes, uh, Rabid Giraffe, uh, obviously uh, hailing all the way from Italy, uh, and so yes, he, he yeah. Had to it, it's just the ping difference, really. <laughs> I, um, I think I, I think it has to do with the fact that he's using Italian internet. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think that's part of the issue. Yes. Um, but we actually, he's not the only international player uh, or international participant in this stream today. Uh, Dirty Cano, Josh, uh, his client is still in French. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so and we have of, a couple of, of uh, Europeans. Of course, uh, imports, who... if you will, uh, for this uh, NA uh, League of Legends series, as is customary. And of, and of course, who can forget uh, Larkin's prodigy brother, uh, Terowin Julian, uh, whose client was notoriously in all Chinese, <laughs> um, which was uh, all in all in Mandarin Chinese, which was both impressive. Oh, and oh wait, clickable. we have a fight coming out. Bandit Choss gonna land from Arlen. Second Bandit Choss, you get the second charge now. <laughs> and some well-placed lag and from Rabbit Giraffe. <laughs> and no, it's gonna be the ult over the top. First blood is flash in from Larkin. He uses the Valkyrie. He's still gonna try to get the ult off. Arlen is still here. He's gonna try to use it, but oh, he just dies. But he does hand over the double kill to Josh. Uh, really wow. uh, good fighting coming out from both sides. Uh, Larkin to get that return kill, uh, and Josh to secure both. Uh, very, very uh, good game coming out of Ireland to get that kill and then uh, get that second one. Wow. Yeah, that was that was that was an important uh, an important set of events because any any lead can has the potential to become substantial when mm -hmm. when this is on the line. Oh. Wow, and qu the queen we himself have... has left the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I again, I I can't be monitoring the uh, the server status of this game because I am spending all of my time uh, frantically turning on and off colorblind mode for every single one of our players today. Mm -hmm. While well, also mining crypto as well. Mining crypto through the servers, obviously. Mm -hmm. I need mm -hmm. I need to sort of uh, cultivate my nest egg. Yes. Right. I mean, oof. The, the, <laughs> the, 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 sometimes we uh, wish they paid a little bit more, right? Yes. I mean, Absolutely. you could say that they do pay you with their uh, server CPU as uh, another gang top uh leads to kill onto the karma karma and once again struggling down 10 farm obviously just lost <laughs> this this might actually be a good opportunity to announce that uh that riot will be re releasing its own cryptocurrency called kogma coin cog coin <laughs> kogma coin it can be called cog coin for shot for short um cog champs <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, uh, but you you can receive cog coin through loot crates. Um, is that is that going to be a part of the world shops? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I what I always love about Ruby Giraffe's streams is it it really emphasizes the strategic nature of the game by literally turning it into a turn-based strategy game <laughs> with how few frames you can 
is Rabid Giraffe. Uh, stream freeze again. <laughs> we have Ben. Ben's karma dying again top. Now, without TP, uh, this will be a lot of... As the bullet time comes out, flash away wow. from Stu. That could have been ugly, but it wasn't. It was just kind of unsightly. Uh, Rift held pop top. Gonna get a ton of plates. Probably won't be able to take this tower, but uh, we will... Uh, they, they will be able to get at least four, I believe, plates. The Dismisser 101 asks, is it going to be Kogma coin with parentheses, with, with, with a, uh, a quotation mark in, in between each word, or Kogma hyphen coin? Uh, and I would like to announce formally that it will be the first one. Uh, yes, every, of course. Every word uh, thank separated you, thank by Thank you, the quotation. Dismisser, by the way, for the fan questions. Uh, yes, Absolutely. <laughs> and thank you, Reverend Giraffe, for the lag. It wouldn't uh, be the easy. same without you. No. <laughs> but, um, yes, please, uh, if you have any other fan questions, please put them in the chat, and our uh, production team uh, will get us to uh, get them to us about five to six seconds after they occur. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Um <laughs> why, why does why does suffering exist? asks Gaigas eleven. Well uh, uh, And who is Joe? And who's um, Joe? Well let me answer that question. That's a very good question. So suffering exists, uh, because without uh suffering there would be no uh, there'd be no, like, uh, like, pleasure, right? Uh, like, for example, if Ben didn't get, uh, 3 uh, to start this game, much like he did last game, uh, then you wouldn't be able to appreciate all the other good games that he definitely has had in this tournament. <laughs> uh, but we didn't even talk about that bot play, uh, where, uh, they almost got a kill, uh, on the side of... Uh, Kelwa's Queens, but as we all know that uh, suffering does exist and Kelwa's Queens is not allowed to have nice things. Gank in the mid lane though, Josh uh, is going to be just fine as he escapes Jake's uh, assault uh, on the Sichuani. Uh, yeah. I do, I do, I do want to commend Kelwa, Kelwa's Queens bot lane. Uh, they, they have gotten quite a bit of, uh, of a lead this game. I had a ton of jungle pressure uh, from their side, really. Uh, the, the the chat the chat is going absolutely ballistic. I need to interject here. Uh, the Kogma coin will uh, officially be able to be mined on a Wii U. I mm. I promise you. Uh, what you have to do is you have to go into Mario Tennis, and mm. you have to leave the game running uh, for days. And once your Wii U starts to burn up. Uh, then, Which should be uh, after about three or four hours. Yeah, and, and and actually begins like begins to melt. Uh, that's how you know that you're actually logging in the cog coins. Mm. Yes, we use of course available at your local Seven Eleven for about thirty forty dollars a piece. Yes, uh, nobody wants these things. Please yes. come take them off <laughs> Nintendo's hands. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why Nintendo has COG coins, but we we thought it was a cross promotional uh, mm -hmm. idea. I, I think uh, at this point they're just we trying do have to support give the bot lane. We could see a dive. Looks like they are just going to try to take a couple of these towers. Josh is going to go in. Arland going to the back line. Huge, massive as two shot barrage coming over the top while Arland is still getting them done. Going to be the double kill for the Israel. I didn't know! <laughs> Josh even tried to get him the shield. Oh no. A great play. And he had flash up! Oh no! Uh, I mean, regardless of 
Uh, Arden shut down, going over to the Sejuani. Fantastic dive coming out from the side of Crispy Canos. You can tell they've been practicing a bunch. You can tell that they have been working hard to really get some of this team play uh, to where it is in this series. Uh, it's been nothing short of dominant, uh, wouldn't you say, Alex? I, I would I would agree. I think um, you know my uh, I've got my nightcap here. I'm excited for a potential early bedtime for the mm. casters. Yes, as the Luxol going to just miss Larkin it after he was poked out by the Ezreal. And it's not like uh, last guy last game. Uh, oh, more questions surrounding the practical ramifications of Cogcoin. I see. Mm. Um, okay. Uh, so I think th those might be better suited on the practical ramifications of cryptocurrency in general, <laughs> but I think this works. So go ahead. The 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 dismisser one hundred and one asks, "Will I be able to buy McDonald's with uh, Cogma coin?" Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, but you will only be able to buy the BTS meal. <laughs> Well, actually, actually, that's it's interesting that you say that because Cogcoin is being released in conjunction with the Cogma meal, which is um, which is a McFlurry that has cr crushed up chicken McNuggets. In. <laughs> um, so look <laughs> out for that at your local. It it uh, it can only be purchased with Cog Cogcoin. And Cogcoin oh, is the uh, only thing that can... There's going to be a Valkyrie from Larkin on to Josh. Josh is going to have to flash away. Will get out, but it did cost him his flash. As uh, Arden is going to get uh, queued by the bomb. As Tellus Queens are trying to get things back in the top side. Uh, don't think they actually even know that this Rift Herald is being taken uh, by Tellus Queens. Should be a good pickup for them. They have no towers. I don't think they've gotten a tower this series. Do you? Did, I don't think they got a tower last game, did they? Yeah, I I don't think I remembered seeing any towers taken. That was it was a bit of a one sided match, unfortunately. And if it was, it was at one at most. Josh gonna use the ult just to clear the wave, make sure that Larkin can't get some more damage down onto this tower. As um, yeah. Much closer game, still a 3k gold lead, uh, 17 minutes, still uh, going pretty, pretty well to the side of Crispy Canos. What do, uh, what, what, so Kella, Kel, you're, you're Kella's queens, you're down a lot of gold uh, in two straight games. As, hold on, we have a bandage toss mid. Uh, and second one is going to go wide, while the Glacial Prison is going to go down onto Chris. But he is a Malphite, and so he will just walk away. Rift Herald, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, though, was used mid lane and did not get a charge off. And so, Cut was Queen. Oh, really and we oh, hear wait, the oh, Rift no, Herald being they got summoned. The Rift Herald. I'm dumb. Anyway, uh, go. good Rift Herald use, top lane by Ben. It also get. Uh, we'll get their first tower of the series, uh, and we'll get some needed cash for Ben in the top lane. We'll get a second charge. Lots well, of good damage good on to that. And it is good to see. Uh, as much as we, we, we talk about bedtimes, we talk about Ardit running into a Braum, uh, <laughs> we'll need to flash and E away. Ult coming out from Stu the Encore, oh, but there's goodness. the bullet time. Stu is going to fall. Great bullet time coming over the top, and great collapse coming from uh, Kelwa's Queens. Josh, a little bit late to rotate. Ben is here in the mid lane. Nothing going to happen, though. Uh, but yeah, good uh, fight from Kelwa's Queens, getting uh, almost all the summoners off of Ardit uh, and killing Kel Stu in the process. Kelwa's Queens is certainly trying to hold their own, but man, that. That gold difference is starting to get bigger and bigger. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, well, the gold difference actually has gotten a little bit smaller since we last talked about it, around 2K now. 
It's getting um, bigger and bigger as we speak. <laughs> as we speak, it is definitely growing and changing and then shrinking and changing. And then growing again and changing. <laughs> It's a very fickle gold lead. You know? I I'm I'm sorry. I said gold difference when what I meant to say was cog coin difference because clearly mm. Crispy Cantos is up trillions of cog coin on their opponent. Yes. Uh, I mean, neither team has actually picked the champion Cogmol. Uh, <laughs> cog, cog coin, it, it's flowing. It's like the Nile. It, it's free flowing. It's it, it's plentiful. It's, uh, it, it's the, <laughs> the agriculture in Egypt it's, it's, is exclusively based on it. It's, um, it's almost, it's almost it getting to levels of inflation that invalidate the entire currency. I mean, that's, that's just the hotness right now. Have you seen the U.S. dollar? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Dragon is picked up after... Uh, Crispy Canos does uh, poke out uh, and dissuade Kelwa's Queens from approaching the dragon and have enough damage to just do that. Second items being completed for a lot of the carries in this game. We have uh, the Misfortune uh, with two items going with the LDR Lord Doms uh, as a second item uh, and then we also gonna see a couple of other item completions coming in oh, soon they're trying to collapse on them but I think I think the uh, the crispy candos are a bit wise to that attempt mm. yes as we kind of go into a little bit of a lull state uh, for this uh that is true. I I Oh hold on wait no, no can't talk about that <laughs> now. Uh advantage toss. Uh but it uh Logan does just Valkyrie away. Not any real danger. Alright, back to La Pus talk. Well I I think the most recent update is that I was picking at the scab that had formed, <laughs> formed over the the uh Hold on, life find you can land on the bed. That's a lot of damage. It's Don't change enough. the subject. <laughs> Please let me. <laughs> oh no, True Shot Provider is gonna go wide. Uh, if he had just aimed for that bush, he he would have he wouldn't have killed him, uh, but he would have uh, definitely chunked him out and forced his back. Second turret of the game, evening up the turret counter to a piece. Uh, Kel was wow. queens doing a really good job of just staying in this one. Uh, well, one. Well, let's examine the scaling for both these teams, Alex. Who do you think has that advantage? Well, uh, I will say that um, you know the, the late game team fight uh, engage and control will always be welcome. Uh, so to that end, uh, I think Amumu and Malphite will always find themselves useful. Um, but generally speaking, I think, you know, we don't have any of the heavy scalers in our game, if, I, if I'm if i understanding this correctly. I think, I, I was about to say, Corky is the only one I know of that has any advantage in that in that regard. Mm -hmm. um, but Ezreal and, and MF aren't known for their, uh, their late game scalings. Well, late, late game. Ezreal can still uh, Ez get a ton of poke down late. Uh, if Ezreal, if I the what I remember about Ezreal's uh, power progression is that when he gets was it Trinity Force he he hits a power spike or is am I like thinking like season season? Uh, he can't go Trinity Force, but uh, it, it's not it's not the default like best item. For so it, is he more of a mid game carry then? Uh, he, he's always been more of a mid-game carry, I think. But uh, ne even now more so with the Divine Makes Sunderer. Uh, first item by. Uh, Divine Sunderer, that is going to help him uh, get through this tanky front line of Kelwa's Queens. It's a good pick, uh, pick up as the package expires without use. Uh, 
uh, for ah. Lycan. So he will be without that crucial cooldown uh, for this next team fight around the dragon in just one in just over a minute. The vision line looking up right now. Uh, Arland is trying to get rid of some of that vision as they push out uh, the the side lanes and mid lane. Uh, and so, yeah, a lot of vision, like good vision for the side of Crispy Canos as this dragon is about to spawn in 35 seconds. Uh, big one would put uh, Crispy Canos on soul point or would uh, stall out and even it up for the side Absolutely. of Kelvis Queens. We're... Kelvis Queens now looking to establish a vision line of their own. They have We're... a little bit. We're going towards Dragon now, I think. Mm-hmm. Bandage Toss is going to fall just short uh, on that attempt from Arlen. Dragon is spawning, and TP is coming in. It's going to be immediately channeled. Uh, however, uh, it's going to be immediately need to be flashed out by uh, Ben just so he doesn't die. And so a little bit of uh, interesting TP play, TP play there. Uh and it's going to be, oh, smite secure on the side. And there's the bullet time, but that is the unstoppable force here. True shot barrage coming over top. And it's going to be a huge team fight, but it is already a three for zero. Make that a four for zero. And it's all over. Oh, no. It's a disaster. They get the dragon, but they drop four members on the side of Kelwa's Queens. And everybody, everybody on the side of Crispy Canos gets out. On Larkin the upside, the on the upside, Larkin is winning his solo queue game on his Smurf account. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he's playing Yumi. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's just about the best champion you can play while playing another game. Um, and so, uh, Larkin is going to look to defend this. Though he is alone, he's rooted up. Uh, he's just trying to get some poke down as the rest of his team respawns. Ooh, barely gets out of that as mid lane tier, uh, tier outer, uh, goes down. Uh, and it's a disengage right now for, uh, Crispy Canos. That, uh, gold lead has gotten a little bit bigger thanks to that dragon fight. Uh, looks like to be 4k gold right now. Uh, not a ton of standing gold for either team uh, right now. Uh, the uh, mid lane turret is low, uh, but it is mid lane, uh, and they will have to really hard push for it if they want to get it. Uh, and with uh, the combined wave clear of Lux uh, and Ezreal, uh, with Seraphine to help, it's going to be really hard without a concerted effort. It is true. Man, I mean, my nightcap is starting to beckon me. Mm, I am you're noticing... feeling like this one is uh, trending towards uh, Crispy Canos, despite Thing, uh, a couple of things are, close fights. Th things are getting sleepier and sleepier by the second over here. Well, let's see if Crispy Canos can take it home. Ooh, Bandage Toss is going to miss. And it's going to be another TP. That one is going to be the Corky's TP. Uh, ult mid lane uh, from Josh just to clear the wave. It's going to be rooted up on the side of the Sejuani. Uh, and it looks like it, it's the... You're going to start out up this Baron. They see uh, the Ezreal Blue Corn Godside, Baron. And it... And they are starting it up. It is going down. 6k health now. They're trying to get in. It's going to be... Oh, you just up! If he choose your upper comes in. Full time is big, but it's on the two tanks. Everybody in the back line is dead. Everybody in the front line is dead, except Jake. Sejuani is not going to live that much longer. Josh going to ult over the top, and Stu is going to root her in place. It's an ace on the side of wow. Chris Picanos as they start up the Barret, and they... Hurled us toward an early bedtime and a 2 0 <laughs> series win. <laughs> they will secure this Baron. The it is Blue a really good Baron. team fight coming out from the side of Crispy Canos. 
They drop one member. It's the Umumu. And they are going to be wearing purple on four members as we enter the Blue Corn Tortilla Baron Power Play. Blue Corn <laughs> Tortilla is crispy, crunchy blue. This power play brought to you by Blue Corn Tortillas. <laughs> blue, corn, blue Corn Tortilla Power Play. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This dragon coming up in 50 seconds, but it looks like, uh, looks like Koa's queens want to set up some sort of trap here. Oh, and it's been sprung. That's going to be the unstoppable force as Stu has already fallen. Chris looks like he's going to be next. True Shop Barrage comes over. Most of the members. Koa can't block that. And so right now uh. it's just support for support. But then there's are... another Baron taken off the table. Things are not looking good for Kelwa's memes. Mm. Yes, Kelwa's queens not. Uh, they, they do get one back. Uh, uh, I believe that was a shutdown on to Stu. I'm not 100% sure. Bandit Shaw's coming in. E over! Bullet time comes out, but it's already too late. Ben is already dead. Alright, in the middle. But oh, the huge old massive chunk onto the AD carry. Jake flashing in. He's going to queue forward, but that's just going to be the root. Jake is going to die. Art, Art, uh, Art is still trying to poke in. Larkin playing on the edge. Will not, however, be able to get any more. Oh, oh it's a flash. Oh, 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 Larkin has mispositioned him. Larkin has died. Woo! <laughs> and Elijah almost followed him to the gray screen. They are going to pick up this third dragon. They are going to miss that ultimate, but they are going to go to soul point. They are still wearing purple for the next uh, 45 seconds. Uh, it is almost about the timeout. See if they can get this bot tier two with whatever time they have left. Oh, and it's another rough game. To the side uh, of Kelwa's Queens could not uh, recover after that shellacking they took in game well, number one. They the, are the, going the... to the inhibitor turret. They are knocking it down. They're at the inhibitor. They are just ushering the minion waves in, but they are going to back out right now. The big question is what does Kelwa's Queens have to do to win at this dire point in the game? Oh. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, maybe. Stunet strikes again at an inopportune time. I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I think. A break. Um, I think the the closest thing to a win that Kelwa's Queens can uh, can achieve right now is going to bed early. Mm, uh, <laughs> getting a good night's sleep and thinking about what they've done. <laughs> uh, getting a good and, night's sleep, oh. leaving on their Wii U's to get some of that extra cog coin for the bank. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, as Ben is going to get run down here, they are going to give that one to Stu. Uh, Ben does, I, it's probably a worthwhile trade. Ben, 0-7, dying seven times in the second game in a row. Uh, but, uh, he, he that is probably worth, because he is not worth any gold. Like, I'm pretty sure he is worth, like, 100 gold at this point. Uh, and he did get 600 pick up uh on the uh tier two tower so that's a good Absolutely. trade uh interesting build here coming out from ben as well leandries and cosmic drive uh what do you think of that build alex um well i don't know anything about the new items so i uh i think the pictures are very fun and colorful mm. <laughs> I do like their art, uh, Riot always with a top tier art department and top I'm tier, sorry. like honestly, top tier art direction. Uh, I, I do want to shout out Six More Vodka, uh, does a lot of the art for Legends of Unterra, uh, download now, um, on mobile yeah. NPC. <laughs> download for free mm -hmm. on mobile NPC, uh, right now. Um, Inter interestingly, uh, Legends of Runeterra is actually not a free game. In order to download it, you have to 
uh, Venmo Alex hyphen Cougasian. <laughs> uh, Is that actually I your? I think your I Venmo? think so. I don't know. Alex <laughs> <laughs> might be. <laughs> so make sure to make sure to Venmo Alex hyphen Cougasian to download uh, Legends of Interior today. Mm -hmm. uh it's it's a twenty dollar charge but uh it's a it's a monthly subscription of ten dollars yeah uh ben oh no way uh ben drawing five members for 176 gold uh to the top side of the map i mean baron's up in 10 seconds but um yeah, uh, they're just gonna start up this Baron. It's gonna die, uh, very, very quickly. Larkin does have package, though. He's looking for an in. They do spot him. Larkin, Baron at 3k health, 2k, 1k. It's been st slain. Bandage Shaw's gonna go wide. Still looking for an engage on the Quarky. Package... He's going to be up for a little bit longer as this dragon is spawning in just 35 seconds. This is full. I don't, I, I don't think that a 10k gold lead plus Infernal Soul is comebackable. Uh, <laughs> uh, does Venmo uh, accept Cogcoin? I believe... Uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, you you absolutely may do that if you want to. Well, I mean, oh. the only person getting Ven mode right now is every single member on Calwar Queens. Uh, <laughs> incredible ult by Arland. Very easily set up. Gets it on the three. They kill uh, oh, two of them off, including Ben for a uh, ninth time. Uh, rough series for Ben. Uh, in the top in the top lane but uh it should be all over but the nexus falling 10k gold lead at 37 minutes 25 to 5 infernal soul baron buff no nose pus on the side <laughs> of crispy canos <laughs> i mean that's gonna be a positive right that's I, one of the keys I to victory I, I I I mean I personally think nose pus is a is a bit of an advantage, but I, I think it's it, it's it depends on what analyst you ask. Mm. Well, I think it's an it's an advantage for casting, uh, but for playing it might be a little bit of a distraction. <laughs> a distraction. That is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's just different positions in the sport. Uh, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, un unfortunately for Kelwa's Queens, unfortunately for fan favorite and uh, and and someone who, who's who's loved and hated by all, uh, Larkid Wisdom. Uh, I I think this one is probably going to end up in the hands of the Crispy mm -hmm. Candles. Yes, this one is definitely going under the uh, the, the the dark chapter of the of the anime. Uh, Absolutely. Like you know the one where where a beloved character dies and the the whole crew, casting crew goes stronger for it. That's true. That's true. And here, I guess the uh, the the protagonist would be dare mm -hmm. I say Larkin Wisdom. Mm. <laughs> well, he does have and big protagonist energy. As a does. final fight, oh, Stu is going to go down early, but uh, uh, Elijah is also down. Three man old. There's the true shop barrage over the top. Josh flashing forward onto Larkin. Larkin uh, is going to kill Josh, and I'm pretty sure he's going to kill Chris. No, never mind. Malphite too strong. <laughs> and that is the that is the rotten cherry on top of this shit Sunday for Kelwiz Queens as Penn. It's going to make it double digits. He's going uh, to get taken down by Ardit for a tenth die. Chris smacking this, uh, this inhibitor. And uh, with 
Uh, Elijah and uh, Kelwa are going to be up soon. And this <laughs> the inhibitor still has not been taken. Uh, but they, they they finally crack it. Uh, second inhibitor should be on the way. Last inhibitor tower, tower is going to fall. Second inhibitor is done. All right, it looks like he's going to have to just try to get out of here. Uh, Jake can't fall over the wall. And yeah, bases in shambles. This one might go another minute for the next Baron. <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I mean, they only have, they only have seven kills. Uh, what? The, the ADC only has two out of seven kill participation. And so... Yeah. Just a rough game all true. around, a rough series. Uh, I will say that if Kelwa's Queens comes back uh, and wins this game, uh, it's probably the largest comeback I've ever seen in League of Legends. Uh, true. <laughs> yeah, oh, but um, that is going to be the unstoppable force in the versus the very stoppable force in Ben. <laughs> ben, I'm sorry. <laughs> eh, I... I if I'm being too harsh, please let me know after the game. Uh, but, um... Mm. No... <laughs> nose, nose pus is clogging. My nose. Oh, that's gonna be the glacial fission onto the Ezreal. Full of time over the top, but it's not hitting anybody. Uh, the package is in. Larkin is in the back line, but Larkin is also dead in the back line. But the only one they've left alone, they want to fight! They want to fight. The Ezreal is going to take him down. Oh, he's going to miss the Q. The last is going to follow. He's going to track the problem. Wow. Oh, my God. It's a shutdown. It's a ace. Oh, wait. It's not an ace. Uh, are Arlen still alive? How did Arlen still alive? Or did he respawn? He must have respawned. Um... Ireland securing every objective that includes Krubs. As uh, yeah, not Ben though, still with that zero KP, rocking it. Uh, as they do win a team fight, 42 minutes in, down 10k gold. It was probably more before that team fight. I just didn't notice. Ireland just kind of squatting. At Baron, but now realizes that the Elder is up in 20 seconds. And they will have to secure this. This should be the last fight. If they can secure Elder... This will Elder, likely end up the last fight. If they can secure Elder, there will be... Uh, the Death Tyrants will be long enough. Stu is a little bit too far up. He's going to be the Light Binding. Trying to zone them away. But it is going to be the... Oh! Omu ult! Bye! Bye! True Shop Rod is going to take them out! Arland soloing the, uh, the back line by himself! And there's the Oh, and there the it force. is. And now... 43 minutes in... Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is all over, but the fat late lady going out on one last high note. Then, if he wins this fight single-handedly, uh, we'll probably be, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. To, to all the well, players on Team Kelwa's Queens. Kelwa's Queens, but Crispy Cano's <laughs> shows that they were the more dominant team. It is the first 2 all of the season, and it goes as a victory for Crispy Cano's versus the Kelwa Queens. To, to, all the, to all the players on Kelwa's Queens, I would just like to say uh, Legends of Runeterra is out now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. We will be right back uh, with a player of the series interview. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. And we have decided that we are going to grant a uh, grant a special one-on-one -on -one interview to Chris, whose Malphite uh, was absolutely games. dominant topside. Chris, how are you doing, buddy? How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. You know, this, uh, I was a little hesitant at first. I was like, oh no, it's a ranged top laner. I have hard thing against Karma's before. And Ben did a good job, but I really think Malphite worked out. Uh, yeah. I'd say so too. Uh, massive, massive top gap uh, this series. Uh, just putting the hurt on uh, Ben, really not letting him even get into the team fights. Uh, while also having a lot of really good picks on the Larkin and side lanes, flash ults, making sure that they um, are on point and you have really good engages. Uh, obviously, your team Thank had you. a really good uh, game plan coming into the series, obviously prepared well. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how what went into making that game plan? Uh, for starters, I on Amazon, I purchased a keyboard, and that keyboard just happened to have an R button. That has worked wonders for my Malphite gameplay. Um, but on a more serious note, I think my team just works. We synergize well. We understand each of us has something to bring to the table. Josh, Ardent, and Arlen have incredible macro calls. Stu with really clutch heals and Seraphine ults. It just works. We just click. I, I really I'm like playing with these gamers this season. That's that's so great to hear, and I think you know, Chris. We like to get uh, down and deep with our with our interviewees. We we want nothing left on the table uh, at the end. Uh, and so, you know, of course, tell us if this is too personal of a question, but what what was the temperature of your loins as you altered uh, massive parts of the uh, Kells Queens team? Uh, rock solid. That's not what I would say. <laughs> I see. I see. That's good to hear. That's good to yes, hear. That's what I was up. hoping. Yes. Very, very good uh, on that. I have one last question. Um, the Let's talk about that Malphite pick. Because the protections do expire, I believe. Um, th this is the last game with the new uh, protections. Uh, how are you feeling going into next series, knowing that uh, Malphite will be able to be banned away, uh, and you might be targeted? Do you have any? Uh, have you thought about that at all? Or... I've done a lot of thinking about it, especially um, my, especially playing mid last season. Mid last season, it was new to me. I didn't have a lot of champions. I was easy prey. This time, I'm in the role that I'm most comfortable with, with champions I sort of know, and I've been practicing, and I have ideas for more practice. I'm feeling confident. It's going to be a challenge. I don't think it'll be easy, but I'm ready. That's Sounds great to hear. Do you have uh, your next series will be against somebody? I will be, be playing against... against a team of five players in the massively oh. acclaimed multiplayer online battle arena League of Legends. This is true. You will be going up against Soy Gang guys. Yes. Uh, so again, guys. Yes. Um, uh, so, Chris, do you have any closing thoughts, any political causes you would like to use this platform for which to advocate? Mm. Uh, <laughs> Chris Picantos for president, vice president, speaker of the house, uh, supreme justice, and basically every other political uh, office there is. I... <laughs> I, I hear that he is Supreme I hear that he Chancellor is, of the Republic. I, I hear that he's running for head lobster of the lobster district. Is that true? Yes, and uh, we uh, of course are lobbying immensely for him. <laughs> that's that's good to hear. I think I think he can do a lot of good with that office position. Yes, I agree. <laughs> All righty. Well, I think that brings another set to a close. No, it was one-sided, I will say, but, you know, there are some great things that are one-sided. Pornography magazines. Well, those... <laughs> That's not entirely true. Well, thank, you, product... thank, thank you. For this. <laughs> I'm so glad we got to end the interview on this note. Yes, thank, thank you, Chris, for the great interview.
and cra- congratulations to Crispy Canos. Uh, Thank you so much, a very guys. Decisive victory uh, this evening. Thank you. That'll do it uh, from us here at Gamer City League Season Three. We are. Would you believe we are almost halfway uh, through the series? Uh, I, I can't believe it. I refuse to believe that. Mm-hmm. Time flies when you're having fun. We have one more match. Uh, no, wait, two more matches. Because we still have... We have uh, us versus Soy, and then we have Soy versus Kelwa Queens, I believe. Oh, no, no, we already played that one, right? Uh-huh. What the hell do we have left? We've only played three... <laughs> we've, we only played three, four matches, including tonight. And so we have two more uh, to go through. Because we played the fir- our open. first two. Um, I think the next match will likely be Crispy Cantos against uh, the Mets, baby. Let's go home run. Mets, let's go. We, we love, love the Mets, the Mets, home Mets run. baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. We love the Mets. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. It's a meme. It's a meme. I hate the Mets. It's okay, not good. a meme. I was Let's about go. to unfriend all of you. <laughs> Mets, you know, the, Mets yeah, baby. Yeah, the, the meme, it, it's all about the Mets, baby. Come